this is the first rendering of the disk. It actually went into another five or six different developments. Mm -hmm. This is one of the, our main key props. It's worn on the back of every character in the Tron world. It has their whole legacy and their whole memory, memory involved in it. And it actually, actually works actually as a weapon. So depending on the actual coloring of each particular character, there, there is different, there's different colors to the actual disc. And the outside ring actually is something that actually opens up. Physically, it's just what impossible, but what it is, is an actual blade, like a, like a saw, it becomes an actual weapon. And it's, it's one of the iconic uh, props from the, first, from the first movie, which was actually what they used was just a frisbee. Mm -hmm. Everything. And one of the scenes in the very beginning, I don't want to give the movie away, but he, um, he has to be dressed in his costume. So at one time, what I did was I, I asked Quantum, which is a company in Los Angeles, and they had probably about 80 people working uh, seven days a week, two, sh two full shifts, trying to make all the costumes and getting all the lights done. And I asked them if they could do a, a, a mold of the costume. They said, yeah. The, the designer and the decorator wanted this, the actual pieces of the costume on a lit table to look a very specific way. In the scene, um, he, he's actually shirtless. The actual gray pieces had to come on, and because there was a black there, while we're filming, he wore a black T-shirt. So, and the only way we actually <laughs> attached all these pieces on, thank God for Gary, he's a good guy. We actually put magnets on his body, hmm. and we, we taped it, and we put um, the uh, the other positive on there, so we, the girls would come up and actually attach it. So this went on for a couple days. And uh, at, at the end of each day of filming, my whole crew would run away and I would be looking at Garrett in, in the eye saying, okay, so I, I was the guy <laughs> ripping the tape off. He's really good about it though, but it, it actually it worked. But sometimes you have to go back to those crew basic elements to, to get it done.